Hello everybody, we're back and we have our, wall, our sections and details here. These are just a few. And so what will we done here now? We pretty much wrapped up this uh, uh, module or training for precast, but uh, one other thing we can do here, we can do what they call the field connections. And basically, you know, we wouldn't, you could detail here. Uh, actually, I see a little issue here. Let me activate this view. That PSA is supposed to be here. So I'm going to just modify and align that to there. So that's the way that should look. And then I'm going to put it in wireframe here. But now over here, we won't have to use the wireframe. So we're going to just leave these as shaded. Or either hidden line or anything. So we've got everything here we need. Um, we don't necessarily have to show the rebar here, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to show you that uh, we can do a, a, a another view or 3D view here. So I'm going to basically go into my 3D view, and I'm going to go here, right click, and I'm going to orient to view. And then I'm going to go to my sections. I want to pick up that section 12. And that's a good section to use here. So I'm going to just go here. And you can get a nice 3D view here of the detail. I'm going to wireframe there, my connections. And that can be. You can do a multitude of things here. You can actually um, break this down into a smaller detail, or you can do the full section. So for this, I'm going to just use this whole section. So I'm going to play around with the section box here just to see one of these panels in that wall section. And we can leave that guy there, and then we can take this view. Actually, should have did this first, duplicate it. And I'll just call it uh, I'll rename this to Three D section, and that's done. Okay, now uh, we can go back to our section sheet. I mean, I'm just going to choose this one. I'm going to go back to my section sheet here, and I'm going to just drag and drop uh, that three D view we just created, and we'll put it there. And we'll make it at a, we'll do it at a half inch scale. So these are the final things that you have to do here. Okay, deactivate that and bring that over here. Got some cropping to do in here, man. But there's our, our 3D view for our detailed drawings which is great. Now, the next thing they would do in this situation, uh, the final is fill connections, which are basically the details. That's why I wouldn't worry about doing them in this drawing, but you can. So how you would create a, a fill connection would be basically, um, let's see, we go and make a new sheet here. Okay, this time we only need an eight and a half by 11. And we'll load it in. Oops, sorry. Let's say okay there. Okay, now what we would do now in this case, I would basically go back to my layout drawing, or even those details. See what this is. Okay, that would be one, and that would be another one. So basically, what happened? I created these.
So I'm going to go back to that sheet we created. And I'm going to drag and drop this one right here. Okay. What happened there? Oh, I think I know what happened. Okay. So this is what we have to do in this case. So here, I want to use these two. So I'm using it already. So basically what we'll do is we'll duplicate this view. And we'll call this FC1. Okay, and then we'll duplicate this one. And we'll rename this. And we'll call this FC2. So then I'll go back to that sheet. And I'll take my first one here, my FC1, which is at the top, and I'll drag and drop it right here. So some companies do this. I work with some that didn't. But this is pretty good because you'll know everything from this one sheet. Uh, we can go in here and activate this view. We can do some dimensioning in whatever noted notations we need. I can do tags in here. Uh, I'm going to leave it there, though, because you know how to do that. And then let's go grab this other one. So we'll make another, we'll make us another sheet. Go OK here. Nope, I don't want that one. I want to go a new sheet. And I want the eight and a half by eleven. And I'll go get my FC2. So basically what you would do is go you would go through the whole building doing this. And there's my field connection for my wall panel, a typical one. And then you can you can go and look at the uh, the piece tickets for other information, but these are just for field connections. These are for the guys in the field. Now, I'm going to do one right quick because I did these and I didn't actually show you how to do it. So I'm going to do one right quick. Let's go down to our our basement here. And I have some call outs already, I see. Okay. So I want to do something right here. Uh, right, let's just cut a section. Well, let's use this one here. I, I put it already out here, so let me see what this looks like. Okay, that would be a good one. So now, uh, what we would do here, I'm going to make this fine. I'll zoom in here. And I'll do a call out. This is basically what I did before. View, call out. Put that guy just there or wherever. And then I'm going to go back into my sheet. That call out was generated. It should probably go, where did it turn up at? Uh, I think that's it. Oh, that's not the one. OK. So I'm going to go back to my sheet. There it is. I'm going to rename this to FC3. Or, yeah, FC3. Say OK there. And then we'll go back to that sheet. Well, we got to do another sheet. So basically, OK. You got a bunch of things going on here. You've got uh, piece tickets, all in one model. And there go our FC3. And we want to activate that view and scale it up to probably, you can go even higher here, I think. Let's go to one, one inch. I want to deactivate this and bring this over. So, hey, guys, thanks for watching my videos. We pretty much covered the precast.
Uh, this is basically it. That's that's pretty much how you would turn a builder in a precast. Okay. Grab that guy, move that over. So that's it, folks. Oops, come on here. Like I said, these titles could be very annoying, man. Man, look at that. This is just, oh, Autodesk. Do something about this. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. And you go in and you detail this and you make modifications and everything. So, like I said, this bar needs to be fixed here. I can just go here and I can edit this assembly and I can fix this guy. I can just move this up from here. And that's going all the way back to the model. So, hey, everybody, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody be safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Please subscribe. Everybody stay safe.